What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another comic book video. Today I'm going to be opening up a mystery box of 25 comics that I did purchase from a Facebook Marketplace seller. He did ship me both of them and they only cost $25 each. Today we're going to be opening up one of them and in the future I'm going to be opening up and sharing with you what I get in the other box in another video. So today we're going to be opening up one of them. So in this one there's going to be 25 comics and again I only paid $25 so that is a dollar per comic. I'm not expecting a lot of great comics but all of these are Marvel comics and from the listing most of them should all be bagged and boarded. Again there might be a few that are just tossed in there but for the most part he did ship them very well protected and just like I do myself whenever I ship my comics he did take great care of them so I expect all of them to be in pretty decent condition but again I'm only paying $25 I'm not expecting a lot of gems or any keys but let's see what we did find. So I do have the box right here. I'm just going to pull them out and show you guys because you guys don't care about the box. You guys care about the comics. So we're going to start off with what is on top and that is Avengers West Coast number 97. So just looking at the first comic here, it does look to be in perfect condition. It is bagged and boarded. Now it does use different boards than I use in my personal collection, but still it's nice to see that they are actually bagged and boarded. Like he did say in the listing, about 90% of them should be, and hopefully most of these are. So that's a pretty good first comic. Next up we actually have issue 98 of the West Coast Avengers. And I think, I, at one point, I think I might have already picked it up, but I think at one point I was missing a number 100. Now, I don't think that's going to be in here because that is a red foil cover, but it would be pretty cool because this one here is number 99. All of these look like they're in perfect condition, by the way. And we did not get number 100, but I do believe I already have that in my personal collection. I have a set of the Avenger foil covers, uh, which I will probably share in another video if I, I haven't already. But next might be a complete set of something that I, again, I already have in my personal collection, but it is something that's very interesting and it's really cool to see in a mystery box. And that is Transformers Universe issue number one. And it actually has a price tag of $2.50 on it. Now I do see the next one here as well. And that is issue two, which is awesome. We actually have, actually it is a complete set. So we have issue three as well which I like the dinos on this one. That looks really cool. And then we do have the fourth and final one for Transformers Universe. So to get this in a mystery box, I can't remember what I did sell these for in the past, a complete set, but something tells me it's around $20, so that's $5 per book. And that actually is a pretty good deal to get out of a mystery box. Next up, we have something that personally I don't collect, and that is Conan the Barbarian. This is issue 150, though, so kind of a lower number than what I typically find whenever I buy my, my big lots, at least. So that's a very interesting one. Another Conan one. Uh, this is 273. Not really into that myself, personally. We have King Conan, issue number 6. Not sure when this one started, if it actually is a low number, because I know absolutely nothing about King Conan, except this one does have a sticker of 175. Another one here, King Conan number four. So very interesting, just not something I personally collect. Next up we have the Nom, issue number one. Really cool comic. At one point I did have, I think, issue 1 to 15. I ended up getting rid of them because I had to limit what I kept in my personal collection. So that's an interesting one that I used to have in my collection. Uh, we have actually issue number 2 as well. And we're going to keep on with that trend with issue number 3. So we have issue 1 to 3 of the NOM. That's pretty interesting. I'm not sure the value of these. But very interesting comics to get out of a mystery box. And again, this was only $25 for 25 comics, so I only paid a dollar each. Very interesting stuff so far. Uh, we have, I always butcher his name because it's not something I collect. Uh, Kazar, number one. Probably butchered that and I'm probably going to get hate for it, but it's just not somebody that I usually follow anyways. Uh, we also have number two. And number three, that has the Human Torch, which does look pretty cool. I don't know if I'm going to keep this one or not, but I honestly don't follow him, so 
who knows? And then we have issue number four as well. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we did get some Punisher War Journal. These ones are uh, later issued ones. And this is Frank versus the Family, issue 54. So it must be like uh, he's taking on a mafia or cartel, something like that. That's pretty interesting. Uh, we have 55, Bad to the Bone. That's very interesting cover. Uh, we have 56, which, I don't know, I have a real vibe of War Machine, but it looks like a punisher out War Machine. Uh, very, very interesting. Then you also have what looks like a vampire or werewolf, and then you have a mummy. So, not sure with this one, but very interesting to get it. And then we have Suicide Run of the War Journal. Uh, this one is... Actually, there is a cutout. So this is number 64, and what really threw me off is there's a cutout here. So I'm not sure if there used to be something there, because some of my comics, whenever I see the cutout, there used to be actually something there. Or if it is a cutout comic. I have actually know nothing about uh, these Punisher comics, so I'm definitely going to have to look into that. Next up, we have Gambits and the Externals. This is issue number one. I know nothing about these. I'm not sure if there's a set uh, or what issue they go up to. Uh, but we also have issue number two. Issue number three. Very cool comic. And we have issue number four, which it doesn't say whether or not it ends after this. So I'm not sure if it's a limited series or I only have issue one to four. Uh, but that is very, very cool. So these comics here, again, 25 comics for $25, a dollar piece. Usually it's a huge gamble. You never know what you're getting. But these ones here, it was a mix of everything. We had Punisher. We had Avengers. We had a little bit of the stuff that I collect. We had Transformers sets as well, Transformers Universe which is very interesting. I don't normally see A, out in the wild, or B, in a mystery box like this. So that was really, really cool to get. But this is all I'm gonna be opening up in this video. I will be doing another video sharing another mystery box that I purchased from the same seller. And comment down below what you guys think. Should I get another box in the future? Hopefully it sticks with this trend of very interesting stuff and sets that are included in it. I assume not all the time we're going to get all decent stuff like this. And again, there's no keys or anything, but everything was bagged and boarded. And it did say in his listing about only 90% of the stuff was. So we did luck out there. But comment down below what you guys think. Should I get another box or should I just stick with the two that I did buy? There will be a video in the future where I open up the second one. So stay tuned for that. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.